Well, the eastern UP is much like the rest of Upper Michigan. Their economic origins starting with natural resources, mainly the timber industry. Now the area is mostly supported by the government sector. In the final part of our series, In Transition, TV6's Jennifer Perez looks at how the eastern UP's economy has evolved. Over the last century, the eastern UP has seen its share of ups and downs compared to the rest of Upper Michigan. Agriculture and logging dominated the area in the early 1900s, but slowly dwindled. We transitioned more into government, you know, employment with the Kinross uh, Air Force Base, formerly known as Kinchlow Air Force Base, through probably the 1970s, and then in the late 70s, the base was decommissioned. Jeff Hagen, executive director with the Eastern UP Planning and Development, says closing the base was devastating. Some 32 percent of the area's employment was connected to the Air Force. A thousand local jobs were lost and 10,000 people who lived on base left the area. Just the, the services that you build up to serve that type of population and then when it goes away, I mean, still to this day, the township has some of the most robust infrastructure in terms of water and sewer that you'll find in the region because it was built to serve a population that is much, much larger. The military base today has been transformed into an industrial park. The state of Michigan opened two correctional facilities in 1989 on the former base. According to Hagen, manufacturing sustains close to 10 percent of the area's employment with more than 850 people. For more growth, NMU economics professor Tony Ferrini says the area needs to build a better communication infrastructure with more Wi-Fi service. The manufacturing, the high income type of jobs, people not only want to work in a relatively high paying job, but they want to be able to go home to a place that has these city amenities, so to speak. So what else makes up the region's economy? Hagen says the government sector is one of the top contributors to the area's economy, employing right around 4,000 people. With significant increases in border security, immigration and customs, government now makes up 43% of the region's employment. The healthcare industry is also showing continuous growth with more than 1,400 people working in the medical field. And as far as what's to come in the future, Hagen says through collaboration with the state and Lake Superior State University, they hope to keep students in the area creating high-tech jobs. Jennifer Perez, TV6 News.